Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So Hajj begins with an invitation, an invitation from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala to perform the Hajj, and uh, Alhamdulillah, I've been blessed to perform Hajj twice. And in both of those instances, um, I had the desire, I had the intention, I wanted to go, but I didn't think it was going to be possible for me to go. And that was certainly true on this trip with Ikhya Tours, um, where um, Atar uh, approached me and he said, you know, hey, I, I need somebody to come with me. Um, are you able to go? And I said, I don't think so, uh, but let me see what I can do. And you know, long story short, alhamdulillah, it, it all was just facilitated and it became um, easy and lo and behold, there I was, um, submitting my passport, getting my visa, getting my tickets, and I was on a plane. And it, it, it just blew my mind that that was even possible. So it was clearly that this was an, an invitation from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that I was meant to answer. And... Um, so you have to think about why you're given that invitation at that particular time. And of course, it's uh, to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But the thing about Hajj is that it's, of course, about Allah and getting closer to Him. But it's also about the people, right? Like Hajj back 1400 years ago was about the difficulty of travel. It was the, you know getting on the camels and going long distances, taking months and years for some people who are coming from distances um, far, far away. I mean, imagine if people 1400 years ago were making the Hajj from North America, when would they need to start? How they would have to cross the ocean, they would have to, you know, take camel caravans. I mean, it'd be a huge difficulty to get there. Today, of course, Alhamdulillah, we get on a plane and we arrive and, you know, yes, it's a long flight, but nothing like what was experienced by Muslims in, in previous times. But the difficulty is people. Like, you are there with three, four million other people, all in these confined spaces, and everybody has to be there at the same time. And they've all received that same invitation from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be there with you. So, it's... There, there really is something in that mass of people um, that I feel needs to be appreciated. Um, if you think about the day of Alastu Barabbukum, when we're asked, when we were taken from the loins of our father Adam السلام, and we're asked, you know, uh, if we bear witness to uh, our Lord. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we say bala shahidna we, we bear that witness and we're, it's something that we're going to be called to account for uh, on the day of judgment where we're going to be gathered again we were gathered on the day of we'll be gathered together again on the day of judgment and we're gathered together on the hajj and I've heard some of our scholars say that you know Sometimes when you see somebody and, and you recognize them, but you can't quite place them, it's because there are people who maybe you were close to them on the day of Alastu Barabbaku, when we were, you know, before history, when we were all standing together. And, you know, probably many of the same people that we made that declaration with are the ones we're standing next to on Hajj. We may not recognize them and they may have come from Bangladesh or they may have come from Turkmenistan or they may have come from Bosnia or Somalia or Kenya or you know any number of countries and there they are next to you. And I think one of the things we need to appreciate about Hajj is that the people, while they are at times a trial for us because there's so many of them, we're all trying to get to the Black Stone at the same time. We're all trying to move, you know, from Arafah to Muzdalifa and uh, from Muzdalifa back to the, and going to the Jamarat. And, you know, all of the, everybody's moving at the same time and it really makes things difficult. But at the same time, the people are the blessing. And certainly the people who you spend the most close time with, intimate time with, are the people who are in your Hajj group, 
right? When you're in the tents in Minna and you're tripping over one another just, you know, to go make wudu or, you know, to go out, it's time to eat. And, you know, you're in that confined space and everybody's got their stuff. Like, you don't, I mean, to get to know someone, you travel with them. And Hajj is, you know, the ultimate manifestation of that, as far as I'm concerned, because you get to become so close to people. And, you know, I just, uh, um, you know, I pray that, you know, all of those people who I was uh, in Hajj with, I will be uh, you know, together with them uh, in, in Jannah. Um, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, bring us all together uh, in Jannah, inshallah. Um, and not just those who are close to us and not just uh, those who were maybe in the Ihya Tours group, but like all of those people. And you can't help but look at the group of people there on Hajj making tawaf um, or you know, spending the afternoon in dua at Arafah and you can't have anything other than love for them. I mean, it is, um, you know, people talk about, you know, Woodstock back in the 60s or whatever in America being a love fest, right? This is the true love fest. Hajj is the love fest. It's a love for Allah it's love for your fellow Muslims. It's love for humanity. And that last point of love for humanity is the one thing that also strikes me as being um, saddening in that, you know, when you look around Hajj and you see all of the, the people from, like I said, Bosnia or Somalia or wherever they're from in the world, North Americans are not well represented. Right, like we're the we're the exception, right? And you know, my prayer is that you know our neighbors here in North America, whether they work at McDonald's or Mack Trucks or wherever, that in the future they're going to be on Hajj with us. And I look forward to the day when uh, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala provides the opportunity for them to see the light of this Deen and that we can be facilitating for them uh, the opportunity to vi visit Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's house um, and that we can all be together there and may we all find our way together to Jannah and Ameen.